Now we're about to go off into a little academic theory here about dividend policy and how it works and how it drives things. All of these theories now revolve around what's the impact of dividend policy really on the value of the firm. Now, what impact does it have on the price of the stock in the market, the wealth of the shareholder? Now, there are two basic camps here, theoretically. There's one camp that says that dividends are irrelevant, that dividend policy doesn't matter, that that's not what people buy companies for. That's not what people buy stock for. Uh, the dividends just don't matter. And one of the common theories or you know, well-known theories in dividends is called the residual theory of dividends. Now, this theory here now says that companies should retain all earnings as long as they have projects whose rate of return is greater than the cost of capital. That is, as long as they have projects whose rate of return is greater than cost capital, which means that the projects have positive net present values. So now one of the reasons for that is that is what's called the earnings power of the assets. And that's the difference between the rate of return and the firm's cost of capital. Now in the cost of capital component now, you have equity. Equity comes from either common stock or retained earnings. Common stock equity is always more expensive than the cost of equity capital, retained earnings. Therefore, you should retain as much earnings as you need uh, so that you have you minimize your cost of capital, which maximizes the earnings power of the assets. If you maximize the earnings power of the assets, then you end up maximizing the value of the firm and the wealth of the shareholder. This is called the residual theory of dividends and says that the company should retain all earnings as long as they have projects whose rates of return are greater than the cost of capital. And again, this is the residual theory. Now, this theory, is, it's argued, says that dividends are irrelevant because what you're seeing here is that it's not the dividends that are so much that's important, but it's the earnings. Dividends come from earnings. It's the earnings of a company that are important, not the dividends. And again, they argue that it's earnings that drive value, not dividends. Therefore, uh, dividend policy is irrelevant. Two of the biggest uh, theoreticians in dividend policy and, and firm valuation, they refer to them as M&M. And &M. In this, day, this is Franco Modigliani and Merton Miller. Digliani and Miller, and they've come up with a whole series of theories about whether uh, dividends are relevant or not, and their conclusion is that dividend policy is irrelevant. Now, M&M &M say much the same thing as you hear uh, with the residual theory of dividends. It's that it's not dividends that are important, but it's the earnings that are important. That dividends are just an offshoot of earnings. And you're not going to have dividends without earnings. Again, uh, it's the earnings that are important. That's what drives value. There are people that came around and they said, well, what about clientele, your stockholders? You know, sometimes companies have stockholders who uh, are retired and things like that, and they demand dividends, and if you don't pay it, they will indeed sell the stock, and the price of the stock will go down and all that kind of thing. Well, well, Dick Leon and Miller says, well, listen, that's not a constantly changing thing. The clientele of a, of a company is going to become stable. And at that point, uh, you know, the company is going to have to produce earnings, which are indeed going to have to allow them to give the shareholders uh, their required return. So they're saying that this clientele effect here doesn't impact the required return of the shareholders, therefore, dividends are irrelevant. There's also a theory that deals with taxes. And it says that, you know, listen, uh, shareholders would rather have capital gains than dividends because capital gains are taxed at a lower rate than dividends. Again, Modigliani and Miller, they proved, showed that 
at some point, you know, these things don't, aren't like an ever-changing kind of thing. And these tax effects and the tax uh, situations of your, of, your, of your shareholders now, this is not going to change the required return for the company. It's the required return that's going to end up generating the earnings, and it's from the earnings that dividends come. So dividends are irrelevant. It's really earnings. Again, all these theories argue that dividends are irrelevant, and they argue that there is no optimal dividend policy. Uh, that's not what's important. What's important is how the firm goes about and how much they, they generate in earnings. That's the driving factor. That's what determines the value of the firm.